Does your grip matter? Now I know for a fact that around 85% of your bad shots are caused by your bad grip. I'm gonna give you the fix today. Let's get into today's video. So today's question is coming from Mark Doyle. And don't forget that we're a channel powered by you, the viewers. So subscribe and comment down below and be sure to pick out your comment in future videos. Now let me justify 85%. Now here's a fact, right? Depending on the loft of your club, 75 to 85% of the curvature and where your ball goes is determined by where your face is pointing. Now think about it, where your face is pointing, what's our only contact with the golf club? Our grip. So it has a big, big impact on your good shots and on your bad shots. Okay, let's start off with scenario number one, the one that Mark described. So by the end of the video, you're gonna be able to hit it a lot longer and a lot straighter, guaranteed. Now, look at these three different grips on the screen. We've got scenario one, scenario two, and scenario three. Get down in those comments right now, what one are you? You're probably gonna fall maybe bang on this or sort of close to one of these, but it'd be good for you to sort of reference it now because there's gonna be a fix for each of them. Let's start off with marks. And what I see for marks is very much shots that are gonna come out like this. Low, hooky, really, really dangerous shots for us scoring. So anytime that we sort of feel like our right hand for a right-handed player is getting a little bit involved in the shot, I tend to see it being too far underneath, just like that. So the center of your palm pointing up to the sky. Now, the reason why it's caused those right shots is it can get really involved there. So Mark was describing that it has to sort of grip it so lightly in that right hand to stop it happening. Okay, that's one of the big, big bugbears. Let's get on to the next. Now, we all want lag in the golf swing, right? This scenario number two, so if you put this one, is when we have it in the palm. When you have it in the palm, you can't hold that club under load on that downswing. I mean, look at this here. We ideally want it to be like that, don't we? That's our dream on the downswing. When it's in the palm, it gets a little bit this way. And that's when you're gonna sacrifice power. So palm meet number two, what sh shots you'd see here is higher shots and ones that sort of will tend to always wanna curl off to the right. Really, really frustrating, really frustrating shots. Now keep involved in this, we've got the fix coming up after this one. Really nice and simple, have a look at the screen, the weak slicey shots, that comes when you can see from the player cam perspective, no knuckles on your left hand, and also that crease between your thumb and your forefinger, the V, pointing sort of into your zip, or even to the left of your zip as you're looking down. So that would be a really weak grip. Now you won't believe how simple this is. Next time you're loading your balls up at the range, when you're picking up your basket, look where you place it in your hand. You get it straight in the fingers. You just do it automatically. That's why you won't believe how good that is. So when you're loading your balls, 120, 50, whatever you get, pay attention to where that basket is placed. Okay, that's the first thing. Really easy, really simple. The next thing is the Vs. And that is, if I just turn my back to you here, if you come over my shoulder, that one, and that one. These are the Vs, the most important things of your grip. And remember, 85% of where that ball goes is determined by the face. So once you've got it in the fingers, all I want you to do is get those Vs both pointing into your right shoulder. It's as easy as that. It's literally as easy and as simple as that. And that's why I know it's gonna help you take it out onto the golf course. So when you're hitting those shots, you're gonna have more control of that power, ticking off number two. You're gonna have less likely the ability to hook it around there, number one. And number three, you're gonna reduce that slice that was going way off to the right. You're gonna iron out those problems because you've got better control of your club face. I mean, in the wind, look at that shot. Thanks so much for watching. I know this is gonna be a big help for you and don't forget to subscribe.